Welcome back to Ed Hunts. Back at the boot fairs. And it looks very quiet, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it is currently 5.48. Here my sister, Essie. And yeah, it's quiet today. So we'll see if we can find anything. Skylanders. Yay, we found something. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, Said free for a channel, free sealed game, yeah, which is nice pretty thing. good. We do a lot for 12. Uh, 13? 13. Yeah. 13. I got some. Some more over here, where it goes, bad company. See the store. It's a bit tough. Sorry? Matthew Free, isn't it again? Alexa, look at this. Back to the future. Oh, it's the. Uh... Back to the future, it's an original one. It's yeah, like... it's the tape. Ooh, oh, how much is it? I've got asked five before I've been looking on the internet for like 12 quid upwards. So... Oh, wow. Yeah. What's, what is this? Is this that a game? That is M3. Free... Oh, yeah. P... well, PS4. It's got yeah. a game, it's got the books, it's got the like, set. How much do you want for again? it? We wanted 30 if I take 25. Oh, okay. Because it's a, like a very good. Um, no, no, fair enough. Yeah. yeah. Chase, 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 chase. It's in there. You got any games, mate? No, no. No? One hour later. Right, so we've left the first boot fair and we've come down to the second one. Uh, it looks okay. Yeah, it's alright. 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 Yeah, and um, see if we can find any bits. Yeah. You know what? I want to DVDs. Uh, different price. How much is that one? Fiver, mate. Fiver? Yeah, they're collectibles, bro. Oh, right. And we're back. So, just got back from the boot fairs and got to say today was a bit of a disappointment. Um, the weather leading up to today was actually like really good for the last like two or three days. It was really nice, really sunny out. And um, the weather forecast for this morning, uh, I think must have put off a lot of people because there just wasn't that many sellers there. There was like, I mean, normally this boot fair I go to, there's like, Twice a few rows, there's like me up to like 20 rows, but today there was like five or six. And uh, I mean, we, we got there really early, we got there like for what quarter to six, and yeah, it did not pay off today. Um, it was really kind of bleak, kind of just ended up walking around just like aimlessly over and over again just to see if we missed anything. And obviously, there's so many other people there uh, hunting as well, so like. When that happens, when it's just not that busy and you've still got all the people that normally go there hunting, like it just becomes even more difficult. So, um, I mean, I did get a couple of things and um, obviously, as you can see in the title that, you know, I did manage to get some sealed games as well. Um, but 
yeah, overall pretty slim and you know, I did pay up for a few of the things that I've got today. So, go through what I've got. It's pretty slim, but yeah, we'll go through it anyway. So, might as well start the sealed games because I got them pretty early on. Um, now, this is off a regular seller. I'm not sure of his name, but um, I remember at the time I didn't actually have the GoPro on and he was like, oh, I'm only, aren't you going to put the GoPro on? I was like, go on in. Since you've got some games. And uh, yeah, it's some sealed games, so... Uh, let's go from now. So first we've got uh, Tiger Woods 06 on the PlayStation 2. Now, I remember playing this to death uh, while I was at university. Um, uh, yeah, showing my age a bit there. Because uh, this was a new game at the time. And this is absolutely fantastic. For As far as like golf sims go, this is probably my favourite one. I mean, it just feels and plays absolutely amazing. And like the... The selection of golfers you've got in there, like my, my character was always VJ Singh, always pick VJ, you know what I mean? And yeah, this is such a such a good game. Um, obviously, it is quite a common title, uh, and I do have it a couple of times, but to have it sealed, do you know what I mean? Like, you know, you never know, uh, it might get this graded one day or something. This is the kind of game I would get graded because, like, you know, it's got Tiger Woods on the front, it's a sports game, it's a game that, like, I have and you can find for like next to nothing, so. This is a game that I would consider grading in the future, perhaps. So then we've got a few Xbox original games. First, we've got uh, Pool Shark. Now, the overall condition of this is actually quite good. Um, I'm guessing this is some sort of like um, pool game where you hustle people. Do you know what I mean? And like, I don't know, that's what it says on the back. Oh, baby, you're slipping. Rat chance of beating Slim Chance. Uh, I think it's kind of like, yeah. I don't know, like a first person pool game? I don't know. Um, but yeah, sealed. Uh, it's the original seal on there as well. There's no, like, there's no reseal business there, so yeah, it's quite a cool full shot. And then we've got Defender for All Mankind. Now, this does have a little tear at the top, unfortunately. I did see that, but I thought, you know what? I'll buy all three of them together, and I'm sure it'll give it a bit of a deal. So, that's, uh, yeah, Defender for All Mankind. I'm not really sure what this one's about. Um, I think, yeah, Space space Shooter, off some description. And off the same setup, I've got these two little um, figurines, and I think they're um, Final Fantasy figurines. Um, I, I'm not sure of the characters' names, they look like they came from Coca-Cola. Um, maybe they, these were like uh, figurines that you collected. Um, I don't know, like ring pulls for or something. I'm not sure. But if you know who that is, let me know in the comments because I'm not sure who that is. Maybe like Tifa, I don't know. Um, and then you've got another, I don't know, looks like a bloody Gorgonite from that film, Small Soldiers, but yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, but he's actually, he's actually holding a bottle of Coke. I don't know if you can see that on camera. But yeah, so all, all of that, those three games and the two figures were £13. So that's not terrible. I thought that was all right. Um, that's all I got from the first boot fair. So from the second boot fair, I uh, managed to get a couple of games. Like, honestly, not very much at all, but I'll show you what I've got. So first, got a Club Penguin on the DS, literally just a pound. Yeah, just for that. I think I already have this, uh, but this is in much better condition, so I'll keep this one and sell the other one. Uh, we've got Lego Jurassic World. Uh, oh no, this was actually from the, the same set of results. That, that came with the £13, so it was those three sealed games, the two figures and this for 13 And this chops in for four, so that's actually quite good. That's like £4 back on that purchase, then that's all right. And then we've got uh, Nintendo's Dalmatian and Friends. Now again, if you can find these cheap, 50p or a pound, always get them because they're always chopping for a minimum four or five pounds. So. It's always worth. I have, I've actually had this one before, so this one's a Dalmatian and Friends. I think it does chop it for three pounds. So, okay, it's only two pound profit, but profit's profit. So, um, yeah, in ten dogs, yeah, quite common for you to see that. And then my sister did actually pick me up a vinyl, and it's uh, the Ghostbusters um, original. <laughs> And yeah, it's just got a picture of the four Ghostbusters on the back. And yeah, probably gonna put that on from display somewhere if I can find some room. But yeah, Ghostbusters uh, vinyl. So yeah, obviously 
yeah, not the best pickups today, but to get some sealed games at the boot fair is always like quite cool to come across. So yeah, always uh, worth picking up sealed games if you see. So if you enjoyed that, hit that like button, consider subscribing, uh, consider subscribing, and I'll see you 